Hi, my name is Isabel Austin Zimmerman and I'm presenting this talk on behalf of myself and my colleague Vi, as well as our co-authors and colleagues from our lab in the Division of Psychiatry. We have investigated the impact of genetic variation in the CYPTC19 gene on antidepressant-related sleep disturbance. Antidepressant drugs are used frequently to treat depression, as well as various anxiety disorders and chronic pain. Though often effective, many patients experience adverse drug reactions. Sleep disturbance is one of the most commonly reported side effects. There can be significant variability in treatment response to antidepressants. Trial and error is often the only way to identify the best treatment, which can be a long and difficult process for patients. Differences in treatment response may be explained in part by genetic variation in enzymes, receptors and other proteins involved in the pharmacokinetic or pharmacodynamic processes. Cytochrome P450 or CYP enzymes are responsible for the metabolism of around 75% of all marketed drugs, including many antidepressants. The genes that encode CYP450 enzymes are highly polymorphic and variation in these genes results in differences in the catalytic activity of the enzymes, which ultimately can cause different people to metabolise their medication at different rates. CYP450 genotypes are often grouped into four main phenotypic groups, poor, intermediate, extensive or normal and ultra-rapid. Individuals in the poor metabolizer group may take longer to metabolise their medication and therefore be at increased risk of experiencing adverse drug reactions. Those in the ultra-rapid metabolizer group may metabolise their medication too quickly and require higher doses to achieve the desired therapeutic outcome. Many of the studies that have investigated CYP450 pharmacogenetics have been limited by small sample size. We have made use of UK Biobank, a large prospective cohort study that recruited around half a million participants. We extracted the genetic and clinical data for all participants taking antidepressants, which amounted to over 31,000 individuals. We phased the genetic data using Beagle software to allow us to allocate individuals to one of the four phenotypic groups based on their CYP2C19 haplotype. We ran linear regression models with self-reported sleep duration as the outcome measure and age, sex and CYP2C19 substrate status included as covariates. In 8,090 participants taking amitriptyline, we found that poor metabolizers reported an increased sleep duration of 0.29 hours compared to extensive metabolizers. In 10,845 participants taking tricyclic antidepressants, poor metabolizers reported increased sleep duration of 0.23 hours compared to extensive. And in all 23,808 participants taking antidepressants that are known CYP2C19 substrates, poor metabolizers reported increased sleep duration of 0.17 hours compared to extensive. We didn't find any associations for participants taking citalopram, escitalopram or sertraline. Of course, our study has some limitations. Firstly, the dose and treatment duration were unknown but we plan to address this by using some of the recently released primary care data for a subset of our sample. Secondly, the sample size for some drugs was too small for individual analysis. And finally, the results presented here are based only on participants of white European ancestry. We're already in the process of conducting an updating analysis using eligible participants of all ancestry backgrounds in UK Biobank. Overall, we found that CYP2C19 genetic variation influences antidepressant-induced sleep disturbance, but the impact depends on the specific drug. Our results are consistent with several clinical guidelines which recommend dose alterations for poor metabolizers taking tricyclic antidepressants. This is one of the largest investigations of CYP2C19 influence on antidepressant response conducted thus far, and we plan to continue investigating other common adverse drug reactions using the same data. Thank you for listening to this presentation. If you have any comments, questions or anything to follow up on, please get in touch with us using the contact details provided here. Many thanks to our collaborators and funders.